What up, Herd? Welcome to another episode or battle of Introspective, where we are going to find out tonight who hits the mark and who falls short. But before we get started, I want to introduce our ca our cast, our panelists today. Um, we have, I am just cutting it so close. My computer's having problems, and I decided to check everything in the last moment. Let's Let's hear a round of applause for our reigning champion, or at least the person that's won two in a row, Mr. Jeff, a.k.a. Geek Driven. How you doing, Jeff? What's going on, everyone? Yeah, I was uh, rushing there. The uh, the Russian bots got me. They must have because uh, it's, it's uh, still having problems. I, I don't know if, uh, how long it'll last, but we'll see. Well, you know, you need to just <laughs> stop doing those things that you're doing, and then you'll be fine. Hey, you know, I, I can't help it. I love comic books. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Me too, me too. And you know what? Another person that loves comic books is um, the Tiger, the Professor. You know, Eric, uh, Mister Tiger Tuesdays, Azores Tiger. How you doing? What's happening, everybody? Ready to see uh, how this gang turns out today. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. And you know what? Who's also waiting? And he's actually waiting to like to pounce on you guys, uh, Mister Ass Hat himself, Jr. AKA Rogue's Law. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. You said the Russians are coming. <laughs> That's why I had the Moscow Mule, huh? <laughs> Coincidence? It must have been you. Must have been you. I don't know, but leave Sue Storm, Storm alone. She doesn't want any of your monkey juice. <laughs> yes it's starting it's starting this is great uh but we but again before we 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 get started there's a there's a little piece of business that we kind of want to just get to and uh we want to say uh real quickly uh congratulations to moonlit uh michelle uh, came on the show last week and really took it to the guys so congratulations again, Michelle, uh, a.k.a. Moonlit Comics. Uh, thank you for playing and, and for, uh, you know what, showing what's out there in the community, that people out there that know their stuff. Could you have caught a worse picture of me? And you know what? <laughs> Do you know who picked this picture out? You. Uh, your, your, your good friend, Michelle. <laughs> hey, he's actually he's actually smiling even though he's looking the other direction. He is. He was, just like, <laughs> he was like, oh, I can't see him directly. Let's just do it by you know on the side. And then of course we uh, thank you uh to uh Jeff's uh, variant, you know, oh, aka poor, poor Rob Zerhagen. Really appreciate you for uh <laughs> for coming on the show uh, in last minute. So uh, but again, uh, let's just kind of go down the the rules and stuff, just for you guys to kind of familiar yourself, familiarize yourselves, um, and also give time for our panelists to kind of uh, look over some things. So again, the rules spec must be on topic. Um, actually, this week we're going to have five topics because we are going to carry over not only the winners, which was Jeff's topic from two weeks ago, but also Michelle's topic since we didn't get to use it uh, last week. And then again, each contestant has five minutes to state their spec. And then after everybody's done, they got a one minute rebuttal. And then the live chat will get to a uh, vote, uh, you know, to, to see who is the winner. And also, if you wanted additional votes, uh, definitely comment on the video. And the reason why you want to do that is right now we have a line of six people if, or six votes if you vote six times or have six points you'll be entered in a drawing to win one of the stray dogs number one comic bug exclusive variants so you definitely want to get at the minimum like six votes in there nice. and then uh we're going to announce the winner on tuesday at 8 p.m pacific standard time 11 p.m eastern and again this week, whoever wins this week gets to pick the topic for next week. However, if Jeff doesn't win, so if, if JR or Eric wins this week, we are going to have a playoff. So there will be, well, there may not be any carryovers. We don't know yet. We're, we're, we're going to leave these guys in suspense, at least for now. 
So again, the contestants are the Professor, a.k.a. Azorus Tiger, the Kingpin, a.k.a. JR, and the Rookie, Geek Driven. Um, and then he's a, these are the community points. As you can see, Moonlit is uh, leading the pack with Sam Klesko at seven. Something Wong, Hip Hops and Me, Astro, and Attention Seeking Geek, Copy, Sam I Am, and Comics Talk Weekly, and HK Wifey, and Glenn 2K12 have five points. And all you guys need is just another point just to qualify to be in that random spin, a random wheel, in order to win that, um, that Stray Dogs. Um, and these are the topics. So again, the female villains is carryover from Michelle's uh, appearance on the show. Uh, Asian superheroes, image 90s heroes, anti-heroes, and Jeff picked Spider-Man villain. Fuck but you. you cannot use Scorpion, <laughs> Shocker, Kingpin, Crowler, Sandman, or basically anybody that's made a cameo or appearance in a spider-man uh movie uh, and that's what we have right now so let's give uh a quick shout out to the chat and see how things are going so first and foremost we got to give a shout out to our moderators so what is going on rudy something wong and deanime thank you for being you and uh, making this live chat what it is we really appreciate you guys and also thank you to our DJs, DJ Abomination and Plain Clothes D. We really appreciate the beats that you provided us. And I mean, those are headbangers. And again, here we go. Let's see who's 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 out there. Uh, looks like we got Eric the Phoenix. How's it going, Eric? Raging Cajun Comics. Uh, Glenn 2K12. HK Wifey. I know we had Nicole up here. We had uh, Uzumaki out here too. Uh, we got Steve. What is going on, Steve? We have GT Key Comic. How you doing? The anime, of course. Bricks the Iron yeah, Geek. What is going on? Something Wong. I did see uh, Rudy in here. I don't know where he is actually, but I know we'll see him. And look at who's pulling, pulling double duty. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Professor himself. Tiger Tuesdays. Azores Tiger. Comics <laughs> Talks Weekly. How is how is it going? And look at that. I think we might. Oh, well, here we go. The Queen Moonlit Comics. Look at that. Congratulations again, Michelle. Congrats. And here we go. There's Rudy. There's Rudy. And do, do, do. I think that is all we have right now. Oh, wait a minute. We got Sam I Am Comics. How's it going, Sam? Thanks for joining the show. Jumping on that live chat. And Lord Chucks. How's it going, Lord Chucks? Thanks for stopping by. Deanime is already doing his spec already. The <laughs> Jubilee. And yes, looks like we're all caught up. So let's get started. So what are the topics for this week's game? So here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We got female villains, Asian superheroes, image 90s heroes, anti-heroes, and again, Spider-Man villain. So here we go. We are spinning the wheel. Ooh, that was a nice little noise. Oh, you know what? I've been looking forward to this one right here. I have been so looking forward to this one right here. Oh, uh, image 90s heroes, no teams. So we'll give you guys a couple of more minutes to, to get settled in. Make sure you guys have your uh, your spec picks. Uh, Jeff, you will be going first since you are the returning champion. Um, so again, we'll just give people a couple more minutes. Oh, uh, look at that. What's going on, Inja Binja? How you doing? And here we go. Here we go. Oh, Eric the Phoenix is loving the image 90s. So that's a great <laughs> one. Oh, look at that. The anime is picking Shadowhawk. So he's gone from Jubilee to Shadowhawk. That's very nice. And we got, oh, nice. Rage and Cajun Comics is already with Death Blow. I like that. And there we are. There we are. All right. All right. Jeff, 
Are you ready? Let's get it. All right, sir. Five minutes <laughs> starting now. All right. So I'm going to try to finish this out. I'm going to close this out this week. I'm going to save us all some time for next week. I'm, my pick for the image hero is going to be Savage Dragon. And the reason why I picked, uh, I picked Savage Dragon is because he is pretty much the longest running uh, image comics besides Spawn. Uh, he has a, a big fan base, um, at least a very cult following. And he also, if you think about it, it's a, a cop movie, but with a dragon. And it kind of works because if you look at the past, if you look at Netflix, Netflix has done Bright which was a Will Smith movie. And it was done with like an, an alien uh, uh, cop, buddy cop, you know, kind of show. So that can work. And then you put it at the same light with, uh, you mix it with Jupiter's Legacy and then you get that more violent uh, cop movie. And, and I think it'd be perfect. Everyone loves cop movies. Everyone loves cop shows. It could be comedy. It could be uh, also, it could be very violent. Um, you can see real gritty stuff, you know, just Savage Dragon is one of those characters that you just want to see go full full dragon. That's right, full dragon. <laughs> and and so we got it's he's created by Mark Miller. I mean, uh, or, sorry, by Eric Larson. And uh, the reason why I said Mark Miller is because of the whole Jupiter's legacy. That whole if they can buy that, they can get they can get over to Eric Larson's stuff as well. You've got Savage Dragon number one. And then we got another key here. Savage Dragon number three. Was it number one? No, it's another one. Sorry. Um, on top of that, you know, you got layers of being, you know, he's been uh, an amnesiac. So basically he's forgotten who he was, how he began. Obviously, we all know who he was at the beginning. Um, we know the story already. But it would be a great kind of story in the sense of, uh, memento where you you have the person who forgets everything and and they have a short memory and so you can start the whole thing with him you know found in the alley and he's you know he has no recollection and it's just a great movie you can do like i said 48 hours comedy uh you can do um you know jackie chan kind of comedy and and then on top of it it's just who doesn't want to see a dragon walking around some some seven eight foot dragon <laughs> you know it'd be ridiculous but everybody's gonna is gonna want to see it it's gonna be you know a little expensive but you can do a show or a movie does it, it depends uh how you know what the budget is but again bright did it and then you've got jupiter legacy so i have you know some precedence there um and i think that's all the time i need i'm, I'm picking savage dragon as mine very nice, very nice. Um, really quickly, I, I, the the panels all over it. I mean, they love that pick of Savage Dragon. They're they're liking it a whole lot. So way 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 to go, Jeff. I I also like that pick. I think it's uh, uh, very uh, new and inventive. They should definitely do something like that. And I, again, I, who who doesn't love like a six foot eight foot dragon running around? You know. Uh, so Jeff, who are you going to pick first? Well, since JR was talking all his smack, you might as well go next. Works Ooh. for me. All right, all right. JR, five minutes on the clock. You ready to go? Give me one second. Sure, take your time. You got five minutes. You let me know. You let me know. G give him 10 now seconds. Now I'm ready. Oh, go ahead and start oh. five minutes. Oh. So. You got your clock going? Okay, good. So obviously I'm going to do Witchblade. Yes, there's been a TV show, but it was shitty. No one remembers it on TNT. Witchblade <laughs> is the creation of basically Angelus and the Darkness Child. It's Sarah Pinsky. But what's great about this character is it goes all through time. We can go and do the pirate version of her. So fuck the cops. Everyone's seen cops. Let's, let's, who cares? Let's go do some Jack Sparrow shit. Let's go play in the sea. Let's do some Witchblade on the High Sea, which we don't see very often. 
You got Michael Turner did the original art on this, a lot of the covers. You got Wall is the writer on this stuff. This is what made a lot of the image stuff early on work. Plus, you got stuff they'll spin out of it. You got Darkness. If you ever get a chance to read Darkness, go read it. You, you're going to see some great stuff coming with Garth Ennis and understand why Garth Ennis is the man. But Witchblade, it's a beautiful woman that's strong, intelligent, that's also a detective in the normal times, or you can do the do the ship times do uh, on the sea, have her as a pirate queen going around and doing stuff. They've also had different times where <laughs> <laughs> the anime booty. Uh, they, they've also got different times where she was running around during the during the the crusades and even into the future. I know they did that. But in general, Witchblade is such an adaptive character. I think women will love the character. All they need to do is let's get rid of some of the skimpiness. No one needs to go back to this outfit of near nothing. I've seen this in person. It doesn't do any woman justice unless you're hitting the gym 10 hours a day. Get her in a normal outfit. And there's that too of what what he says, but she's a character that's very well done. She goes with Angelus into the into um, heaven. She goes to darkness with hell. She works great across all of those things. Plus, she's even crossed over the X Men when she did a storyline with Psylocke. Um, so, like I said, this is my pick. I think I got about two and a half minutes. I'll give up control back to. To your Alonzo there. But I think that's all I need. Uh, is your pick ready, uh, Eric? You got Spawn loaded to go? Oh, oh, oh man. I mean, I know it's not Strange Academy, but it's magic, so, right? Uh, no, I, 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 pick, I pick somebody that reminded me of you. He kind of looks like you. Oh, I, I think I know image. who it is. <laughs> Could go Battle Pope, I guess. Oh, this is great. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. All right, Azor, you ready? Either. Let's see. You ready? Let's see. Give me one moment. Sure, sure. Take take your time. This is <laughs> going to be great. Look at that. <laughs> Sam is shots fired. I love it. I love it. Something Wong is already going, oh, no. Something's happening. All right, I'm oh, ready. There we go. <gasps> oh, Can you see my it? goodness. I see it. Can everybody else oh, see it? Not yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it up there. Oh, okay. Ooh, I I like it. Okay, so we're gonna add this to the stream. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, uh, Azorus, you ready? You yeah. can see the clock. Yeah, there, you're smiling. There, you, there you go. So you know, I figured you know why not come with a bang? You know, come with something I'm sure everybody has in their catalog. This was an awesome book. Um, I enjoy Pitt. You know, he reminded me of the Hulk pretty much. You know, this is one of the second best selling uh, books within the image uh, database. Um, he looks like JR. So if you all are rooting for JR, you know what I'm saying? You can just vote for me because it's pretty, <laughs> much, it's pretty much him. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I can't uh, be JR. He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Pitt, My eyes know, are black. Pitt was pretty much like, you know, had superhuman strength. Um, he was an alien hybrid, um, vicious character, man. You know, just straight blood and guts. And, uh, you know, when we started out with Image, you know, we didn't know what to expect. Um, but this one, it almost reminded me of Wolverine a little bit, too. You know, he wasn't, you know, would take on any challenges, you know, would go toe to toe with anyone. And because we've seen what Marvel has been able to do with the Hulk, you know, why not let image, you know, spend some money and bring out the pit, you know, bring out someone who can't be stopped, you know, and then not only does he have superhuman speed and super strength, but he has telepathy. Pitt can actually read the minds of people that are, you know, in the vicinity of his area and stuff, you know, um, emotional control, you know, he's freaking wild and crazy like JR, you know, can't control himself. So <laughs> man, it's like, you know, hand to hand combat. They can't stop him. Um, you know, he's a, a, a hunter at the same time, you know, kind of like me when I'm hunting for comic books, you know, so I can come over here and beat JR on this freaking show. So, you know, Pitt, you can't stop him. 
You can only hope to contain him. Um, and you can't run from him because he's a freaking skilled tracker, so he will find you, you know. But, um, man, I don't even have anything else to say. You know, the picture says it all. But like I said, everybody has this book. I don't. I haven't met anyone that doesn't have this book in their PC. So, you know, if this one hit, then everybody wins, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, let, let's go for Pitt. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Oh man, like you, you got the you got the chat going, man. The chat's chat's loving it, and I think uh, the the chat seems sees some of that resemblance to Jr. too. <laughs> <laughs> we got the and and it, they could make it horror based if they wanted to, you know. So that character, oh, it, that character, it, could really do something. And, and and guess what? Copy doesn't have it. It's copy, surprise, don't worry. Surprise. I have a copy for Not you. Surprise. Dude. Not surprise. <laughs> I have a copy <laughs> for you. This <laughs> is in your dollar bins. Seriously, <laughs> this oh, is in your God. ALKs. Right, exactly right. <laughs> this is oh, every, look at that! Every it's shot swag doesn't own it. Every shot. You could go to a oh, shop right goodness. now. I promise you will find that book. <laughs> all right, all right. All, all right. So uh, I have the cover. I just I couldn't find it in time. Yeah. I have the books. <laughs> you probably have it in all your boxes that you got laying around. So uh, <laughs> we, we, we know. We know. <laughs> all right. So Azor, since you just went, um, who would you like to Go next. Who would you like to to to, to do the rebuttal hmm. for one minute? Let's see. Who should I choose first? Um, let's let him go. Let's let Jr. go first. Get it out of get it out your system. I know he, he's bubbling <laughs> up over there. You know, he's, he's even laughing. Uh, he's even laughing. Uh, <laughs> it together. Go for it. Go go okay. go ahead, Jr. Floor is yours, so, sir. So you said Pitt is kind of like Hulk. Well, I wonder why Dale Keown, uh also exactly. drew Hulk and went straight over to Pitt. So probably took the ideas that Marvel said, yeah, fuck that. We're not going to do that. And put it over on Pitt and made a copy of him. Uh, it's also only went 20 issues where at least my run went like 200 some odd issues and just went 300 some odd issues or whatever still, it still, is. Still going, sir. Still going, but still underneath spawn at least. But I gave you props. At least you didn't pick spawn. Um, let's, let's be honest. No one really cares about Savage Dragon. No one has cared about Savage Dragon in a long time. Obama couldn't make Savage Dragon popular. <laughs> I mean, and he was on the cover of the damn book. He had to go to Spider-Man to make it actually, like, people know that he's on a book. Um, pick Witchblade. Let's be honest. Witchblade can go so many different ways. You can relaunch every couple seasons, kind of like Doctor Who, do it during different time frames with different characters, and I think that's my time. Damn. Way to go, sir. Nicely done. Uh, JR, who are you going to pick next? I'll let Jeff go. Oh, ooh. All right, Jeff, let me know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, here we go. So we got one with wishful, hope, hopeful, you know, wishful thinking, and the other one with an expensive water trip. Um, you know, when you do water movies or shows, that's an expensive, expensive show. And then they do it in porn all the time. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's also another thing is everyone loves dragons. You, you're going to see a dragon. You, you're going to get it's not you, you don't want a, a, some crazy Hulk. You've got Hulk already for the, the pirates. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. They're going to make remake uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And with a girl, it's going to be red. So they're going to beat you to the punch. Disney's already going to do it. Who's going to be Disney? <laughs> so, and mine's more original. You ain't seen no dragon walking around no city. All right. I, you ever heard of Puck again, Magic I, Dragon? I, <laughs> all I, day, every day. I Just for the record, <laughs> I love all your guys' picks. I think all of them make sense. Um, for where you guys are looking at and what you're trying to accomplish. And again, all of these, you know, are, are most likely to happen too. So, I mean, it, you're making it really, really tough for, for the crowd. Um, so they got a, they got a tough job. Uh, Azorus, are you ready for your one minute rebuttal? Uh oh, 
He's, he's, not, he's not ready yet. I'm he's ready. like, what? He's like, I didn't want to listen to all that jibber jabber from Jr. So I, I try to, so I'm not laughing when they're talking and stuff. You know, oh, you, it's, <laughs> it's okay. You can laugh. Both, you can laugh. Both of these guys are like cracking me up over here. Uh, and then they try, they try to team up on me right there. Like, ah, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, now, now the chance. You ready? You ready? Let's here you go. go. All right. So, like he said, Del Keon. So, yes, it does resemble the Hulk, you know, but he actually had an issue where it was versus the Hulk. So, you know what? Why not bring Pitt in? We already have Abomination and the Hulk and the MCU. You know, we got cage fighting going on. We may, you know, have another character that, you know, we don't even know is image, but they slip him into the MCU. Who knows? Right. And then first appearance, uh, they had the pinup of Pitt in the spawn book so you know he thought i was going to pull spawn but no we're going with the pit we don't need wishblade you know because come on dude that'll be like on playboy or something they're not gonna have wishblade on, on regular tv and stuff you know <laughs> and then, then we got yeah. savage savage dragons like come on dude it's just it's too much going on over there and um too many effects and stuff we're gonna need and who's gonna play him you know, running around with a fan on his head. I, I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. So we're going with Pitt. It's plain and simple. Let's knock it out. And make a horror flick out of it. Halloween episode. Unstoppable. Let's go. Oh, man. That, that's great. I, again, like you guys in the chat have a tough job. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's some good stuff, man. That's for sure. So thank you guys for that hard work doing the research and you know just talking about these these characters and you know i i'm sure everybody in the in the chat can agree like these 90s characters from image i mean seriously they they all have a special place in our hearts i mean we like the chat's jumping knowing like oh i remember this character they had team ups and all this other stuff it's great thank you for uh bringing us down memory lane and there you guys go in the chat. We just put the lovely poll or the so make sure to vote for your favorite to spec. And again, this is the spec that's most likely to happen. We have JR spec, which is Witchblade. We have Jeff spec, which is Savage Dragon, Oops. and Eric's pick with uh, the Pit. So make sure to, to to vote. Let us know what you think. Uh, but guys. Seriously, man, you guys are you guys are awesome. It's 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 hard to decide. It's hard to decide um, which which one's gonna do it. I, I can tell you that for sure. Uh, right now, you, you, though, you know, if you vote for me, it ends this week. We crown a champion, not- and then someone gets to win a book earlier. I'm just saying. Yeah, but people like watching us, so. <laughs> Why would you vote? You'd vote for either Zorus or I to keep it going. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, you're gonna have to check them drawers, man. Oh boy! Oh, oh man, that was funny. Oh, what is going on, G Money? Oh wait! Oh, well, Moon you still it's taking made money. Time. Moon it's taking right. money. <laughs> We, oh, we got a we, we got a seat. <laughs> you can come back to the show. <laughs> oh man! All right. So right now we have thirteen votes. Wow! Wow! What? Wow! I'm I'm like, so I'm oh. just gonna show this really quick because I am like like wow. Oh, no, I don't want to see this. Wow, oh, Jr. JR. Which way? That's because they want to see the boobies. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> You don't I mean, lie, say so you don't want to see boobies. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Oh, but God. damn. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. The boobies will win this week. I got it. If, hey, if if they want to see Savage Dragon, they could just watch Blue Bloods or whatever like Friday night like old people show people watch about cops. Oh, All right. It's, it's, it's the booby prize for the booby. It's okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow uh but you know again hey like, you, you guys in the live chat like you had a you seriously though had a tough job um with with picking um picking these out i mean again it's it's a tough decision um <laughs> i know i know 
I've, I, I know I can't argue with it, you know, low hanging fruit, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Actually, the boobies we like are the high hanging ones that are really perky. <laughs> oh my God. And low hanging root. Wait, wait. Sam also says that, uh, is that pirate yeah. booty, right? Low hanging fruit. <laughs> Oh, it's it, Danime. I hope uh, you uh, or not Danime, Jeff. I hope you brought uh, some sandwiches. Anytime, Dan. The anime. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have some tomorrow. <laughs> if you would have brought out the Obama one as your as your key one, maybe you'd have a better shot. Obama <laughs> but, gets but votes. I, I I don't use politics or it, 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 you know. Just saying, we keep Obama it clean here. Votes. We try to keep it clean. You know, oh, at least my that's, that's top here. <laughs> All right. So just as an FYI, if the voting stands the way it is right now, uh, JR is in the lead with nine, Eric with four, <laughs> and Jeff with three. If for whatever if for whatever reason uh, JR or Eric uh, takes the crown this week, there will be a playoff between one of those two guys and Jeff. For season one, for season one's championship. So just just so you guys know, um, unless I mean, Jeff uh, Jeff is the dark horse, like over overtakes uh, Azorus and Jr. So again, you never know because votes are still coming in at least tonight. And you can also leave a comment on this video for those watching the rewind, um, and also for those in the live chat and want to vote again. Uh, for your favorite spec pick, you know, you can definitely sway things. Uh, so just make sure that uh, you, you you get down and vote. So again, right now we have a total of 16 votes. Just want to show you guys in the live chat what is going on. And again, we have JR with nine, Eric with four, and Jeff with three. We're going to refresh it one more time. 16 votes. We have 20 people watching. Um, oh, look at that. We got 17 now. Uh, cool. It looks like Eric got an additional vote. Very cool. Come on, all yeah. you horror Ooh. fans out there. <laughs> I, I can see a horror movie. Up, Why not? Why not? Why Smash not? Smash on those thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. With that being said, and, and JR, what uh, what time did you put Eight the uh, voting ten? 8 o'clock? All right, guys, you have till 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to get those votes in. Um, we will definitely refresh it to make sure we're current, uh, but you definitely have till 8. So make sure to, uh, to again, to vote uh, for those just kind of coming in. And we'll, we'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. And if you want to do it right, spec what you like. And Guy, remember to check your damn PMs. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs>